Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, new background behind us. Um, obviously, because I won the sound shirt from the Celtic video. Got it framed the other day. The background still, you know, it's still there. So, yeah, we're going to first of all, we're going to talk about Peter Lawwell. Obviously, it's his final day today on recording this video um, as Chief Celtic Chief Executive has arrived. As he gets to his end of his 70 year reign and one of the, the hottest seats of in football. Yeah, you know I mean, at Celtic Chief Executive. Well, he became a figure for Celtic fans uh, towards the end of his trophy land tenure. He also presided over some huge successes. Um, Wall announced in January that he would be retired from his post to be replaced by Scottish Rugby Chief Operating Officer Don Mackay. Mackay has been in the building since April and led the appointment of new boss and boss Chicago. But his first official day will begin tomorrow. Um, so it seemed fitting timing for. Um, for me, um, obviously, a lot of channels will be doing it later, a lot of Celtic channels, but it seems a fitting time for me now to run through the highs and lows of pre um, of Lowell's time in one of the, um, in one of Scottish uh, life's biggest jobs. It was a period where the club made the major strides both on and off the field, one where the club celebrated unprecedented domestic success, yet one where the club fell further behind the con uh, the contestant uh, con biggest clubs. Um, nine in a row, so it's successes. We'll go into successes first, right? Nine in a row slash quadruple treble. Success is achieved on the field, not the boardroom, but Lawwell was in the situ, situ and it, at a time uh, of unprecedented um, domestic success for the club. Um, While the club fell short of racking up a historic 10 in a row, the Hoops managed to equal the Lisbon Lions' domestic run of, uh, of league championships when they were awarded. The 2019-20 Premiership title on average points uh, one, uh, nine in a row. And not only that, victory and penalties against Hearts in December saw them make it a quadruple treble with 12 domestic triumphs in all competitions in a row. Um, let's move on now to financial stab stability. stability. Um, the bedrock of all this, of course, has been a, a balance sheet, which is, a, is the um, envy of every club in Scotland. Um, one sizeable obstacle, of course, was removed... Um, be a temporary from their path when financial chaos engulfed Rangers. But Celtic have mainly been a beacon of uh, prudent good management under Lawwell's reign, even when he admitted that the Ibrox side's advance from the top division was costing the club £15 million a year. Um, from a turnover of £60.57 million the year he took over in 2003 after the club's run into the UEFA Cup final in Seville. Revenue dropped to 70.2 million in 2020 from 83.4 the year previously, but Lawwell leaves Celtic with cash reserves in the bank. The club's five year kit deal with Adidas was hailed as the biggest ever by any Scottish side, and Adidas big up, oof, yes. Uh, Brendan Rogers Invincibles for what back in, oof, wow, that was great back in. Uh, it was rare to see Celtic push the boat, <coughs> push the boat out in uh, the Peter Lawwell era, era in. Era, or what do I call it? But they did so when they proceeded uh, Brendan Rodgers to arrive at the club. Um, it paid off in spades for the Hoops, though, as the Northern Irishman uh, redefined what was possible at Celtic. Uh, while the club failed to make any genuine su sustained headway in Europe under him, the improvement in domestic performances was there for all to see. Uh, during the 2016 17 campaign, they went undefeated in all 47 domestic games, earning the nickname of the Invincible Treble Winners. Uh, it was a kind of feat uh, which may never be repeated. I don't think it will never be repeated again. Biggest transfer wins. Well, Celtic spent <coughs> spent big um, big on established professionals during Martin and Neil and Neil's time in charge um, with some excellent results, but the model changed under Lawwell's tenure as the club moderated their spending habits and attempted to un uh, unearth uh, unheralded players and sell them on for a profit. We've done that. There were some, um, <coughs> sorry, again, I'm all over the place today, my throat. Uh, there were some remarkable successes along the way. Not at least, obviously, Virgil van Dijk, who can remember him, uh, who was snapped up for 2.6 million in the summer of 2013 and sold to Southampton for 13 million two years later. The Dutchman was the gift which kept on giving, later guaranteeing the hoops a sell on in the region of seven, oh, seven, nearly said 75 million, but 7.5 million when he moved to Liverpool. Victor Wanyama, Signed for all of nine hundred thousand from Belgian football um, 
blazed the trail moving to Southampton for 12.5 million. Uh, Dean, of course, came all the way through the club's youth ranks to generate a 25 million transfer fee when he moved to Arsenal. Or from Mr. Dumbelli, a known inspired pickup. Uh, Lennox Town. <coughs> Lennox Town now. Celtic made all the way to UEFA Cup Final Seville, training at the Battlefield Complex, but that state of affairs was never likely to sustain for a modern football club like the Hoops. Um, some of the key outlays of Lawwell's time in charge came on the best bulk um, chain centre in the camp. Come say how was at Lennox Town. It doubly opened in October 2007 with Len cutting the ribbon himself. Um, with improvements being implanted by certain managers along the way, the latest hoops chain in development is the construction of the full size indoor pitch back on the barrel food site. Um, so, yeah, um, two seconds, guys, just go. <coughs> Basically, dying with a call here. Oh. Um, now we're going to move on to Lee Griffiths now. The situation with Lee Griffiths is a bit interesting. Um, so let's get it up. <coughs> Has Lee Griffiths already left Celtic? Uh, as Boss the Cockley confirmed the other day he would be meeting with Griffiths to decide where he'd be offering the striker a new contract. It seems that has not happened. Um, we're still waiting for an official announcement, but... Um, from the club, but it is not a hard puzzle to solve. Over the past few weeks, Griff has been posting videos of him, his personal trainer doing some fitness drills. In all these uploads to his Instagram story, he was in Celtic training gear, and in today's upload, he was in Scottish national team uh, team kit. In Celtic social media posts, the players returned for pre-season training. Lee Griffiths did not appear at all. You know, that's a bit interesting. You know, obviously, there's transfer speculation about Ayer and Griffiths, uh, uh, Ayer, Griffith, uh, Ayer and Edward, I'm not seeing Ayer because he's still travelling back. I think he's quite isolated because obviously Norway and all that stuff. But I seen Edward training uh, in the video. I seen Edward training. Yeah. Um, Lee no longer references Celtic in any of his social media accounts. He changed his Instagram profile picture last week or so. Uh, we could just see small signs, you know. Some people might not notice it until you know what I mean. The parts of Lee Griffiths walls, as I say, always split opinion, but I think it's for the best. Lee was a fantastic goal scorer in, in Dyla's final season, but since. He was shown he cannot be relied upon. If Lee, if Lee has been released, it'll, it'll be, uh, it'll free up fifteen thousand a week. If Postecoglou has taken the decision not to renew Lee Griffiths' contract, I wish him all the best for the future. Yeah, I think our Celtic fans will wish Lee Griffiths for the best in the future, but his time is up in Celtic. Yeah, plenty of chances there, and he's not, he's not, too, he's not given the the person who's given the chances like the respect back. You know, he's given. So thanks guys for watching, guys. Um, it's just a wee rundown of Lawwell's last day. Um, what he's done basically over the 17 pe years period he's been at Celtic and Lee Griffiths speculation, he's already left Celtic. Just waiting on the, you know, the, the you know, the, um, the club's announcement, you know. Uh, I'll see you, see you next video, guys, probably. Another chance for video, maybe something different, I don't know. We'll find out, guys, but please subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys for another video very shortly.